Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is basically going to be things I wish I knew before moving to university. So I have just finished my undergrad degree at Lancaster University and I just kind of want to share my top tips for you guys on YouTube because moving to university is a really really scary thing. Before I moved to university I watched so many videos from people so I kind of want to share you know the wisdom I've learned over the past three years. One of my top tips for university is when you are buying cutlery make sure you get unique ones with like colourful handles or that are like a different colour than the average silver metal you know the average fork and knife. You want ones that are going to stand out because if they don't stand out people are going to confuse them for their own and they're just going to kind of get taken you're going to end up missing a load. Whereas if you have like a unique one you'll know they are definitely yours and if anyone takes them you can subtly just take them back because you know they're yours. Um, I was really lucky that I thought about this ahead of time because I'd seen videos like this and I bought like black ones which were kind of like they had like a little bit of rainbow in them and no one else had them which was really really useful so when I you know was washing them and stuff I always knew which one was mine and they always stood out and it also kind of made it kind of fun. I liked having something different um, even though it's a little bit sad. Another thing is to go to all of the Freshers Fairs events that there are. Go to all of those Freshers events. A lot of the Freshers Fairs you will get free things which is always good. I love a free pen or like a free stress ball or something like that so make sure you go to them. You will also get the opportunity to speak to many like societies so you may be interested in a particular sport or a particular like Thing. A lot of universities have all sorts of societies, whether it be a Quidditch society, Harry Potter society, just in general, Doctor Who. Some universities have a Taylor Swift society, and I am so jealous because we didn't have that in Lancaster. But like, find these societies because then you will meet people that have similar interests to you. Because with your flatmates, you are just thrown into a group of people. You may have nothing in common with them, and that's not the end of the world. I was quite lucky in my first year that we, you know, we got on with my flatmates. They were, it was good during the year and stuff because we went out with them and we did have relatively similar interests, and that's quite lucky. But you're not always lucky with your flatmates, so you've got to bear that in mind. Um, it's not the end of the world if you don't get on with your flatmates. If things are really, really bad, a lot of times you can actually move, but at the end of the day, they are just random strangers thrown together so you're not always going to gel completely. The other thing with societies is, is just go to them. Like just go to the events. A lot of them offer a free first event or a reduced price first event, like a taster session. Just go for it. Even if you go alone, like sometimes your flatmates might not want to go to these things. Just turn up alone. Um, during my um, first year I went to Art Society a couple of weeks alone and then my friends came with me. But you get to meet new people there and stuff. And a lot of people will be in the same boat where they want to join these societies, but they are too scared because to go alone. You will meet new people there who will have similar interests to you. And it's a great way to make new friends and maybe even to try new things. Because you may have never tried this thing before. It may be a sport you've never tried before because you've never had the opportunity to. There are so many interesting sports at university. I personally didn't do sports, I, I, well, it wasn't for me, but I know a lot of people tried new sports that they've never done before. So, you know, go to these events and stuff. So, in terms of sports, you do not have to be a professional. I'm not, I was not on the sports societies, but I know this. You do not have to have ever tried this sport before. There are lots of different teams. So there are like A teams, like the main teams. And there are other teams as well, like people who just do it for fun. People who just want to like go out and try new things. So don't feel pressured or put off from joining a sports society in particular, just because you've never tried it before. You're not very good. A lot of them welcome people of all like experience and encourage people to join. So make sure you do that, even if you've never tried it before. Do not leave your assignment until the night before. Don't do it. I know I say this and everyone's gonna do it. Everyone is gonna do it. I did it. Every single time I'd be dying, I'd do it and then I'd end up doing it the same thing next week. Don't do it. I beg of you, if I can offer you one piece of advice, if this is the only thing you listen to, do not leave it to the night before. You just get unbelievably stressed. It's it's very difficult doing them the night before and doing an all night in the library. As fun as it is sometimes, it's exhausting. So please try start your assignments early. So in terms of um, university, university is very different for college, um, school, everything. Your grades may not be the same. Um, you are trying something new for the first time. It's a very different approach you need to take and you've kind of got to bear that in mind and stuff with your grades. First year doesn't count. Most universities you need 40% depending on the degree. Um, but yeah, please don't be disheartened if you don't do like fantastic in your first few essays. Just make sure you try. But for most universities, you've got to pick your second year housing pretty quickly because there's kind of a mad rush of second years getting the accommodation for third years. And like first years are kind of left kind of stuck because the only people a lot of people met in that like little 
time space is like their flatmates. You don't always want to live with your flatmates. You are thrown together with a bunch of random people. You don't always want to live with them. Make sure you live with who you want to live with. Uh, don't always live with your best friends. If you live with your best friends, it's not always the best idea because people can fall out over like the smallest of things when you're living together. So bear that in mind. Live with people you know you want to live with. Live with people who are relatively clean, who clean up after themselves, you know. Just live with people who aren't unbearable to live with. Another tip, if you don't know your flatmates that well, keep your alcohol in your room. They will just take it. A lot of people just take their alcohol because alcohol is expensive and people just take it. So keep it in your room. Uh, the majority of the time for me, people didn't take it because they knew what was theirs. But keep your alcohol in your room. If you don't want people taking it, keep it in your room. Get like reusable plastic glasses. Do not bring glasses, glasses to university, if that makes sense. Because if you bring glasses, they will get broken. I brought like, um, I don't know how to, you know what I mean, like a glass to drink out of. And a lot of them got smashed. Just because, you know, you're drinking with them, you're, you're playing games with them, they they will get smashed. So try, try bring a plastic one. Try not bring any mugs or glasses you really, really like as well, because they may get broken. So just kind of bring ones you're not too fussed about. Kind of get cheap ones and stuff from Ikea, just because you don't want anything to get broken at uni that you actually really care about. Now, moving into your accommodation, take pictures of everything take videos take pictures take whatever make sure that you see every single mark that there is because they will try charge you for it um it's really really important to do that because there are marks when you move into university so just make sure you do that and then you've got the evidence fill out the inventory with them as well um and make sure you just note down anything that there is um when you move in you'll want to decorate that's completely okay depending what the rules are um you can put stuff up if you can't try get like posters that kind of stand up, you know, not stand, uh, or something like that to decorate. If you can, get white tack. White tack is the best one for decorating because it doesn't take the, um, it doesn't leave a mark or a stain or anything. And also get command hooks. I loved having fairy lights, they were really fun. If you have LED strip lights, they will strip the paint off. Just a warning, they will strip the paint off. It's not of if they strip it, they will. Um, so make sure you're aware of that. Don't put it anywhere where there's paint. If you can put them somewhere where there's not paint, if you are insistent, um, buy the same colour paint. Uh, try get it early, get a test pot of the paint of whatever your accommodation like walls are. Um, do that. And if you're moving out also and you pulled a bit of the wall off accidentally, put the paint off, um, get test pots of the paint. Try get it like a month or so before you move out because everyone will be getting it. See if you can kind of go on it uh, with your flat, see if you can just get a pot because you're not going to need a whole test pot to fill out. like little bits you've pulled off the wall so make sure you do that. I was really 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 lucky with my kitchen generally because um we really knew when to take the bins out and stuff we never really had to pressure anyone there was no like pressure to tell someone to clean their dishes because sometimes you're in a situation where your flatmate will just not clean their dishes or will not clean the kitchen will not take the bins out if that is the situation make a bin rotor it seems a bit annoying it seems like you're like oh whatever but just do it literally it will save you so much like effort and stuff if you make this bin rotor another top tip for university is to always have like microwavable rice you know that pot noodles anything like that anything that's really easy to cook um you know like frozen microwave meals things like that because sometimes you may plan a meal out and just not be in the mood to make it you may have been out the night before and not be in the mood always have like a backup option because then you know you can get some food if your flats like aren't really like talking a lot and like the thing basically what um one of my flatmates upstairs did was bake and then be like, hey, you know, do you want to try my things? And that's a great way to get a conversation started. Try do like games nights, um, bring up board games if you can. They take up a little bit of space, but they're always really fun. Get card games. One of the most important tips that I'm going to give you basically is to know your limits um, with basically everything. Um, know your limits with alcohol. That's one of the most major things, especially with Freshers Week. Um, don't down a bottle of vodka because it's your first time away from your parents. Um, don't drink loads if it's your first time drinking ever because for a lot of people, they only start drinking at university. So make sure you know to start small. Do not just ca try keep up with everyone else because some people may have been drinking for a long time. Don't try keep up with them. It may be difficult. Please just be sensible. These are all new people. So you want to make sure that you are like safe and aware, especially during Freshers Week. Please just be safe with alcohol. Um, that's one of my major tips for it. Just be safe. Have fun. Be safe. <laughs> Sorry to be boring, but yeah, like your parents will love me. I'm encouraging you to be safe. Um, also, you don't have to drink. 
that is a big thing at university. For me, I did drink, I did drink at university, but I didn't always want to drink. Um, don't be pressured into drinking if you really, really don't want to. There are societies, basically, that have non-drinking socials, and a lot of the universities will offer alternative to drinking socials, where you can meet people who also do drink and stuff. So yeah, please don't feel pressured into drinking. It's not the end of the world if you don't want to drink at university. If you enjoyed this video and want more university videos, let me know. I've done videos at my time university. Um, blah, blah, blah. I've done videos about my time at university, you know, during it. But now I've finished and stuff, I'm happy to answer any questions anyone may have because I have three years worth of wisdom now. So yeah, just let me know. Um, I'm always happy to make it. I specifically know about Lancaster because obviously that's where I went. But if you want more general university advice, I can offer that too.